Henry and the Flagpole. All the engines on the island of Sodor were very excited. There was to be a great banquet at the Scottish castle. Henry loved going to the Scottish castle because on the way he puffed past his favorite tree. The tall pine tree towered above the rest of the forest. Henry always stopped to look at it. Seeing the tall pine tree standing tall and proud made Henry very happy. Henry arrived at the Scottish castle. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for him. The castle's flagpole is old and about to break, he said. Henry, I need you to collect a new flagpole from the docks in time for the banquet. Yes, sir, puffed Henry. When Henry puffed into the docks, he couldn't see the tall flagpole anywhere. He looked around for something tall. He looked above the coal cars, but there was nothing tall there. He looked at an old ship. It had a tall mast. Then Henry looked up and saw Cranky. Cranky was very tall. But Henry didn't see the flagpole. It was on the flatbed in front of him. It rolled onto the track. Oops, sorry, matey, called Salty. I didn't expect to see the flagpole down there, puffed Henry. It's not tall when you lay it down, matey, said Salty. Henry felt very silly. Soon, Sir Topham had arrived. This is a disaster, he boomed. The Scottish castle will not look the same without its flagpole. Henry was very sad. It was all his fault. Maybe seeing the tall pine tree will cheer me up, Henry huffed. But nothing could make Henry feel better. I wish I hadn't broken the flagpole, Henry sighed to Toby. They could make a new flagpole out of that tall tree, Toby puffed. Henry looked up at the tall pine tree. He didn't want it to be made into a flagpole. The next morning, Henry had to take some workmen to the forest. But the workmen were carrying axes and saws. Oh no, moaned Henry. They must be going to cut down the tall pine tree. Henry puffed through the countryside. Must save the tree, must save the tree, he puffed. Then Henry had an idea. He didn't take the workmen to the forest. He went to look for a new flagpole. Henry saw some children waving flags, but those flags were much too tiny to have flagpoles. There was a flagpole holding up a windsock at the airfield. But that flagpole was much too short. There was a tall flagpole on the beach, but it wasn't tall enough. Bother, wished Henry sadly. None of the flagpoles is as tall as the pine tree. Now I'll never save it. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to see Henry at the sheds. Henry, those workmen had a very important job to do. You have caused confusion and delay, Sir Topham Hatt said sternly. Tomorrow, you will collect coal, and Edward will take the workmen to the forest. The next day, Henry was collecting the coal when Thomas arrived. I can't find another flagpole, moaned Henry. I've looked everywhere. Sometimes the thing you want is somewhere you wouldn't think to look, puffed Thomas, and he steamed away. So Henry set off to go where he wouldn't think to look, but he couldn't see a flagpole in the cow field. Then Henry looked in the orchard. 
but only Trevor was there. Hello, Henry. Hello, Trevor. You're very nice, puffed Henry, but you wouldn't make a very good flagpole. Henry puffed sadly into the docks. Some vacationers were taking pictures of the old ship. Henry looked up at the tall mast. What about the ship's mast? asked Henry. It's to be chopped up and used for firewood, me hearty, said Salty. But it will be perfect for the castle flagpole, Henry chuffed. Then you best take it quickly, matey, said Salty. Cranky soon lowered the mast onto the flatbed. And Henry raced off to the forest. He had to get to the tree before they cut it down. When Henry pulled into the forest, the tall pine tree was still there. And so was Sir Topham Hat. Please don't cut down the tall pine tree, sir, chuffed Henry. I think this ship's mast would make a very good flagpole. I would never cut the tall pine tree down, said Sir Topham Hat. The workmen are only here to collect some firewood. We always have a roaring fire at the Scottish Castle Banquet. Henry was so happy it made his axles tingle. That night the flag was hoisted on the old ship's mast. It looked wonderful. Henry thought it was the nicest thing he had ever seen. Except for the tall pine tree.